Hello, good people. This is Darrell with Personal Credit Solutions. Welcome. Uh, we want to let you know that we're here to provide credit education to all beginners as well as advanced credit consumers. And the purpose of our YouTube videos is to focus and provide education to our clients. So we want to provide credit education to our clients and to help you guys better understand the credit repair process. So we want to get you that credit education. This is a topic that I see needs a lot of work. A lot of people do not understand the difference between <clears throat> the due date and the statement date on their credit cards. So we're going to use this Capital One as an example. And what we have here is the actual credit reporting for this Capital One Venture card. Now, as you can see, the due date is right here. February 4th and the statement closes around the 10th of the month and you see right here it's because it's a short month it closes a little early it closes on the 7th so when you look at your statement <clears throat> excuse me you'll see that the due date usually has a grace period uh, be before the statement actually closes in this instance it's how many days the 4th to the 7th, so you have three days. What I find that customers are doing is they're, they're taking their credit card and making that payment on the 4th, so that's good, that's fine, but then they're using the card on the 5th, the 6th, and the 7th, and if you use your card any time up to this date, it's going to report the new charges. <clears throat> so, for instance, if you pay your card off, and you pay this entire $1,500, $1,516, if you pay that off on the 4th, as long as you wait till the 8th, the next day after the statement closes, you will see a statement show up with a zero balance. And then on your credit card, it's going to show a zero balance here as opposed to a balance. If you charge $250, your new balance is going to be $250 if it's before the 7th. Now remember, it has to be after the closing date that you use the card again. So the key to using your card properly is after you pay on your due date, do not use the card again. I repeat, do not use the card again until after the statement closes. So it won't be the 7th, it'll be the 8th. Because you don't want to do it on that day. If you do it on the 7th, it will cont it will show that balance and so I have people have smaller credit cards maybe a three hundred dollar credit line and you can pay that off in full you do and you say oh I've got uh, extra money on the card now I'm gonna charge it back up to fifty three hundred dollars and now you're gonna have a high high debt ratio okay you're gonna have a high debt ratio this is a client who has a high debt ratio so we want to make sure that you do not have a ratio over 20 to 25 percent that's going to have your score dropping the score dropped seven to ten points because of this balance I saw it on the report so to conclude when your statement due date comes and you make the payment make sure you do not use it again until the day after the statement closes which is the seventh on this card after the statement closes, if you use it again, it will already have shown a zero balance or whatever the balance was when the statement closes, and you won't have a high ratio. So keep that in mind. This is an exact example based on a client, their actual report, and their actual statement. So we had to blur some things out so it would stay private. But this is good information. Make sure that you do not use your cards until after the statement closes if you want to pay your balances down and get the benefit of having low credit card balances. All right, that's going to be it for today. And that is a real good explanation. Take and review this video. It's very short. It's only four and a half minutes. So you should be able to review the main points. Make sure you treat your cards this way in order to increase your credit score. Thank you and have a good day.